Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. And today's topic is what is Tourette syndrome. But before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos uh, to support this channel. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com or alternatively you can click the link in the description uh, to visit this website. Thank you. Now the Tourette syndrome, what is it? Well, it is a neurological disorder and uh, it causes repeated involuntary physical movements and uh, uh, like uh, vocal outbursts. And uh, its exact cause is not known. And uh, it's the most severe kind of uh, like tick syndrome, you know. And the tick are the involuntary muscle spasms. And they consist of abrupt or, like uh, intermittent twitches of group of muscles. And the most uh, frequent forms of the uh, tick involve like blinking or sniffing, grunting, throat clearing, uh, grimacing, shoulder movements, and uh, head movements. And so these are uh, uh, the, you know, as many as uh, one in uh, 100 experience some milder symptoms and the, these uh, uh, the syndrome affects males nearly four times more than females you know so it's more common in males you know I think what are the symptoms of the uh, Tourette syndrome you know well the symptoms can vary from one person to another person you know and uh, they usually appear between the ages of three and nine and starting uh, with small muscle takes in your head and neck you know and eventually other ticks may appear in your trunk and limbs, you know. And the people diagnosed with the uh, Tourette syndrome often have both motor tick and the vocal tick, you know. And the symptoms tend to worsen during the periods of excitement, stress, and uh, anxiety, you know. And uh, they are uh, generally most severe during your late teen years, you know. And uh, there was a study in the Mayo Clinic which says that the ticks are classified as by type as in motor or vocal you know and uh, further classification includes like uh, simple or complex takes you and the simple takes usually involve only one muscle group and uh, brief you know and the complex takes uh, uh, usually involve uh, uh, they are coordinate like coordinated patterns of the movements or the vocalizations that involve the several muscle groups you know but next thing is what are the tick uh, motor ticks you know uh, like uh, now the simple tick uh, complex uh, like uh, uh, motor ticks complex uh, like uh, uh, like eye blinking you know or uh, uh, eye darting or uh, sticking the tongue out you know uh, nose twitching and smelling are uh, uh, these are the simple motor ticks you know and uh, mouth movements head jerking or shoulder uh, like uh, shrugging you know and the complex uh, motor ticks include like uh, uh, hoping or uh, like uh, smelling or touching objects making uh, like uh, obstinate gestures, bending or twisting your body, you know, and uh, steeping in certain patterns. Now the vocal takes, uh, uh, the simple vocal, vocal takes and uh, uh, the complex vocal takes, you know, the simple uh, vocal takes are like uh, uh, hiccuping, uh, grunting, coughing, throat clearing, barking, you know. And the complex vocal text include like uh, repeat your own words and phrases. Uh, repeating other people's words or phrases, you know. And uh, using the like vulgar or the other bad words, you know. So these are the, known as the vocal texts, you know. And now the next thing is uh, what are the causes? Well, uh, it is a highly complex syndrome, you know, and it involves abnormalities in the various parts of your brain and the electrical currents 
or the circuits that uh, connect them you know and uh, an abnormality may exist in your like uh, basal ganglia you know so basal ganglia is the part of your brain that uh, its function is uh, to contribute to your control of the motor movements you know and the chemicals in your brain that uh, transmit the nerve impulses uh, may also be involved you know and uh, these chemicals which are known as neurotransmitters they include dopamine uh, serotonin and uh, uh, like uh, norepinephrine you know and uh, the cause of uh, it is unknown and uh, there's no way to prevent it you know because we don't know the exact cause you know and uh, you know, but uh, the research believe that an inherited genetic defect may also cause it, you know, but uh, uh, they have yet to identify the specific gene directly related to the thorate, you know. And still family clusters have been identified and these clusters lead uh, the researchers to believe that genetic play a role in the development of the thorate syndrome, you know. Now, next thing is, uh, what are, uh, like, uh, how do the doctors diagnose it? Well, your doctor will ask you the symptoms. And uh, the diagnosis requires both uh, one motor and one vocal tick for at least one year. And uh, some conditions may mimic, you know, and thorate and uh, the syndrome, you know, and your doctor may order imaging studies like such as CT scan or MRI and EEG, you know. But these imaging studies are not required for making a diagnosis but the people with the torrent often uh, have other conditions as well including like uh, attention deficit uh, hyper uh, activity disorder known as uh, adhd you know and obsessive compulsive disorder you know which is known as ocd learning disability sleep disorders and anxiety disorders you know and uh, once diagnosed then uh, the treatment options uh, may include like therapies and uh, medications you know and uh, like neurological treatments you know now I will start with the uh, therapies you know you know your doctor may recommend behavioral therapy or the psychotherapy and this involves one-to-one -one counseling with the LSM's mental health professional which is who specializes in the uh, psychology you know and behavioral therapy includes like awareness awareness training or uh, competing response training and uh, cognitive behavioral intervention for the takes you know and this type of therapy can also help ease the symptoms of uh, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder you know and OCD and anxiety as well and uh, your therapist may also use uh, that uh, therapy sessions like uh, hypnosis or uh, relaxing techniques or uh, guided meditation and deep breathing exercises you know so these help you know the next thing is medications well uh, no medications can cure this syndrome but your doctor may prescribe one or more of the medications uh, like uh, uh, haladol you know or uh, tetrabenzoin or other like uh, neuro, uh, neuroleptic drugs you know so these can help to uh, block uh, the dopamine receptors in your brain you know and help to control your takes and common side effects include like weight gain and mental uh, fogginess you know and uh, uh, Botox is another injection, you know, that can control the simple motor and the vocal takes and this uh, is an off-label use for the, uh, this medication, you know. And uh, uh, methyl uh, phenidate or uh, Ritalin, you know, is another drug, you know. And uh, this stimulated medication and others can help to reduce the symptoms of uh, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder you know and uh, uh, clonidine is another one which is a blood blood pressure medication you know 
uh, other simple drugs, uh, the similar drugs can be uh, control range of attacks and the support impulse control, you know. And uh, uh, the next thing is neurological treatments like uh, deep brain stimulation is another option, you know, form of the treatment which is available with the severe attacks and for the people with the thought. Uh, the effectiveness of this kind of treatment is still under investigation. Okay, so this is still in the process of trials, you know. And uh, the next thing is about uh, outlook. Well, the many people with that heart syndrome, you may find that your takes improve in your late teens and early twenties, you know. And uh, your symptoms may even stop spontaneously and uh, entirely in the adulthood and uh, even if your thought syndrome decreases with age you may continue to experience and need treatment for related conditions such as depression or panic disorder or panic attacks and anxiety you know thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit our website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day thank you goodbye